Let's say I want to find the angle between two planes. Okay? So what I have are the equations, the Cartesian equation of the two planes, and I want to find the angle between them. So the best way to visualise this is to look at these two planes uh, side on. Okay? It's very difficult otherwise. So if we draw on the first plane, so there's one of them, and here is another. Okay, and the information that I have is that I can tell the normal vector for both of them. Okay, I want to find this angle here, the angle that the two planes make when they intersect, but the information that I have, the only information that I can go on, is the actual normal vectors. So if we call that pi 1, then this is normal vector 1. And if that's pi 2, then this is normal vector 2. OK? And in actual fact, although you, know, you might be able to see it directly from um, this diagram, as best as I'm trying to be as good as it is, OK? Um, this angle here is exactly the same as that angle there, okay? The angle between the two normal vectors is precisely the angle that you want to find that is between the two planes. So, in actual fact, what I want to do is find the angle between the two normal vectors. So, 1, 3, minus 1, and uh, 4 minus 8, 1. That equals 2 and that equals 1 that's there and there doesn't come into it at all. Okay, It doesn't matter. So we can use cos theta is equal to a dot b over mod a mod b. Okay. So we need to find the length of these two vectors. So mod a is uh, the square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 1 squared, so root 11. And mod b is equal to the square root of uh, 4 squared plus minus 8 squared plus 1 squared, so that's 9. OK, because it all adds up to 81. Then we've got a dot b, so we've got 1 times 4 plus 3 times minus 8, so minus 24, and minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. So we've got 4, take away 24, take away 1, which is minus 21. So this is equal to minus 21 over mod A, which was root 11, times mod B, which was 9. OK, so inverse cosine of minus 21 over root 11 times 9 gets you 134.7 degrees, OK, to one decimal place. So that is clearly an obtuse angle, OK? So in order to find the acute angle, I need to subtract that from 180. So the angle that I'm looking for is 180, take away that, take away answer, which is 45.3 degrees. OK, so that is the acute angle that I'm looking for uh, that is between the two normal vectors. It's the same as the angle between the two normal vectors.